Good morning, Mayor. I'm Steve Ice. It's July 13th, Friday the 13th, here in beautiful KC, West Columbia, South Carolina. Just a few minutes from the airport. Anytime you're coming through South Carolina, feel free to join us for breakfast, 7 o'clock every Friday morning. Now, this morning we had some unusual event. Our waitress uh, had, had a little problem, and we have some of our members got a little concerned about Jessica not being with us. And uh, Keith, Keith is here with us, and Keith wants to talk to America about our problem. Keith? Yeah, um, my name is Keith Seymour. I work for American General Life and Accident, but I'm also uh, a, a freelance journalist and media consultant of 22 years in this town. Uh, as Steve said, we, uh, we have a regular waitress, and she's done such a terrific job that we specifically request her for this meeting and control of management. If she's not going to be here, let us know. However, that's not the issue here. They had, um, this is the restaurant business, and this is the way it works in South Carolina, it needs to change. Uh, I can't reveal too much because Jessica's also an insurance client of mine, but her, her son had health problems. The manager called a mandatory meeting, which basically means the manager can call a meeting at will, everybody has to come. She said her, husband, her, her child had serious health problems need to be taken to the hospital and so she couldn't show up and they gave her a choice oh we're going to take you off the, that schedule for your group tomorrow to punish you and then we'll talk about you staying if you take your son to the hospital now this is the sort of thing that drags small businesses and hard-working people like waitresses and servers in this town to, to financial destruction. We cannot have people like this punish someone for care, giving them the choice, oh, you can, you can take your, husband, your, 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 your child to the hospital for an emergency, or you can keep your job. So I would urge you to call the Shoney's on the air, at, at the airport. Call the manager to find out who the franchise owner is and complain and say if they persist in that type of insensitive non-family, because it, 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 it can happen to it can happen to any one of us. It can happen to a teacher, it can happen to a waitress, it can happen to anyone. I want you to call the Shoney's at the airport, okay, and find out who the manager is and who the franchise owner is, and make sh and let them know that if this persists, okay, the the, the, the waitress's name is is uh, Jessica, then you will not bring your business here. You will take it to another Shoney's or to another restaurant altogether. Okay, it's wrong. People should not have to suffer because their family is seriously ill. You shouldn't have to choose between making two seventy-five an hour plus tips. Two, excuse me, she makes two twelve an hour plus tips. She supports her son and she helps support her her elderly parents. And she's working other jobs and she's got to take her son the hospital and they're going to punish her for that? You need to call people and you need to call the governor's office and your state legislature and change this law that allows employers to do this. This is outrageous. You should not have to choose between worrying about your child's health and your job. It doesn't make a difference that they're not lawyers. It doesn't make a difference that they they wait tables. You got please do this for me. I urge you to do this for me. Thank you. My name's Keith Singh.